<laughs> All right. Do this. Hey guys, Armor Gun here today out on the range with two super awesome, super famous World War I firearms. Both of these are unloaded at the moment. But man, which one do you guys prefer? Let's run through some pros and cons real quick, starting with the 1911 chambered in God's Caliber 45 ACP. We got a capacity of seven rounds, detachable box round magazines, which is really slick. Simple charging of the weapon, just pulling back the slide, letting it go. You've got a safety right here, which is incredibly stiff but it's there. Basic sights, rear notch, front post. Let's take a few shots. Well, I can say that I can't hit a damn thing with it, but uh, that could be me with this old girl, but she is a really nice unit that you can see all of the markings on the slide, pretty cool. Here, of course, is your mag release, also quite stiff. And then reloads, again, super fast, drop the slide and you're ready to go. Hot dog, that's the 1911, the gun the Americans carried into World War I. Quick trigger pull as well. Reset. Not quite as nice as some of the modern 1911s, but hey, she's an old girl. Now the broom handle, the C96 Mauser. This is the difference in cartridges. We have the 45 ACP next to the 7.63 by 25 millimeter Mauser. Very very different rounds coming at you. Of course, the Mauser is going much faster, but the 45 is a big old brick running through the air. Now the C96 is quite a bit older than the 1911, but she is pretty beautiful. 10 round internal magazines. Your capacity is a little bit higher. It's a short recoil system on this guy. Your tangent sight on the back is adjustable out to very optimistic lengths of a thousand meters, but loading is much more awkward. 10 round stripper clips. This is not the right stripper clip, but it uh, does in a pinch. Push those guys down there. It does have a double stack, double feed system, which was really good. And then with the bolt fully back, there's two positions for it. It catches on the hammer. So when you've loaded it, just pull this guy's back and it chambers around. So that's pretty cool right there. To engage the safety, you actually have to pull back on the hammer, push the safety forward. That disengages the trigger then pull back again to release it. And we're back ready to go. Quite elegant. Where the Mauser really shines is a stock lug attachment in the back. Slide this on. Again, if this is an original production stock, this is non-NFA, which is pretty cool. But this now acts as a pistol caliber carbine, which is really, really slick. Check this getting out. This is just beautiful. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. This thing definitely sucks in the ergs department relative to uh, the 1911, but this thing has the looks in my opinion. Anyways, this thing went on to be refined over the course of more than a hundred years and the 1911s of today are unreal. Like this guy right here, Nighthawk Agent 2 doesn't get much better than this. Also, there's this cute little baby browning in 22 long rifle. This thing is, I love this thing. 